Hey everybody, Match Point Tennis here. Welcome to part three of our series on how different specifications affect the playability of a racket. And today is part three, and we're going to be talking about the length of a racket. Okay, so this is just in general for an adult frame. I know I've got some comments about kid frames and, and head size. Um, but we're going to be talking about the adult frame and how, what happens when you increase the length of a racket. Now, years ago, they would have 31, 33-inch rackets, and they thought longer rackets were better. They thought super light rackets were better. But a racket today, according to the USTA, can be at maximum 29 inches in length and 12 and a half inches in width. So what happens as you increase the length of a racket? Now, most rackets today are 27 and 27 and a half inches long okay for adult frames you don't see them go 26 and a half or 26 then you get into like junior performance rackets now most of the time like i said we we see 27 and 27 and a half inch rackets now what happens as the racket length increases to power well the power is going to increase because you have this lever this lever and believe it or not you have the same lever and the same swing speed that same swing speed actually increases the head speed with a longer racket when the racket the head speed increases you get more power and that's also the same for spin because you're increasing the racket head speed you're going to be able to put more spin on the ball it doesn't generate spin for you you already have to be able to have that top spin or that slice it's not just top spin we're talking spin in general that a longer racket will increase the spin that you're able to produce because you have a faster racket head speed. Now, the two things that decrease are the maneuverability. So if I have this racket and it's a longer racket from 27 to let's say 29 inches, the racket, there's more weight that's a little further away from me in my hitting. So what happens is it's harder to maneuver the racket, even though I can swing it faster, right? it's harder to maneuver because there's more weight away from my lever, my hand. So it makes it harder to control. Imagine, you know, if you have a, like a short fishing pole or a really long fishing pole trying to control it, right? And the last thing that decreases um, here is uh, the shock. So that, that vibration, I always call that dampener. And how, why does it do that? Well, because the, when you hit the, the, the ball and it sends that vibration down, if it's a longer frame, the vibration has further to go down the handle to get to your hand. So the shock is also decreasing. So when you think about buying a new racket and you want to talk about length of a racket, what does it do as the length of the racket increases? Now you know. You know that the power is going to increase. You know that your spin is going to increase. And now you know that the maneuverability and the shock is going to decrease. So this is Coach Nick from Match Point Tennis. We'll see you for part four and the swing weight.